Hundreds of residents here in Parkdale are heading into their second month refusing to pay rent in protest of rent hikes here in Parkdale. And now they're getting the support of some unlikely allies. It's important for those kids to know that, you know, when they show up at school, if they can't focus because they're afraid they're going to lose their home the next month, that they can talk to their teacher about that. Ashley Engel, a TDSB teacher who lives in Parkdale, says the issue of rent hikes has been a hot topic of discussion at Queen Victoria Public School and not just amongst the adults. I've heard from teachers that once they started talking to, to students in schools in the school, they were, they were shocked at the number of kids who were already aware of this issue and uh, the number of kids who are, who are really threatened by this rent increase. The Parkdale Elementary School is surrounded by 19 buildings owned by Metcap Living. Five of them are facing rent increases above the provincial maximum. For the last month, more than 200 tenants have been withholding their rent in protest. Many of them low-income families who say the increases will force them out of one of the last affordable neighborhoods in Toronto. It's devastating when you're working with young kids and they have to be afraid of where they're going to live next month. That's why Engel, who occasionally substitute teaches at Queen Victoria, says she and her fellow staff members can no longer stay silent. Come Monday morning, teachers from this school, along with others from across Toronto, will be picketing in solidarity with striking tenants. We'll be showing their support for the rent strikers, handing out materials to people going by, and really just showing that uh, these teachers support what these rent strikers are doing to defend the families in Parkdale. Uh, I think it's a good show of solidarity. Outside the elementary school, news of the teacher's planned picket was met with praise from some parents. It's good. It's very good. They're with our children more than we are sometimes, um, and they get to see the things that they struggle with, and it comes to school with the kids, I'm sure, when their parents are stressed out at home about, I mean, their living situation, right? If this rent increase goes through, there will be kids who are in their class right now who won't be returning to that school next year. Engel hopes the teacher's action can help students feel they're not alone in this fight. I think it's really inspiring to see that these teachers at Queen Victoria understand that teaching doesn't start or end with a textbook, but is about these kids' lives. Now, the teachers will be picketing next week, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday at the corner of King and Jameson starting at 8 a.m.